Welcome. This is a relaxing stretch class. Lately, the world uh, is going upside down. Things uh, seem to be going out of hands. Um, things are not exactly as where they were before. Um, so some, um, sometimes yoga can be a very good way to let go of all the negativity out away from our system. And also sometimes if you are looking for, um, if you had a very, very long day, if you are looking for something to wind down the day, then probably this is, a, this is the class for you. All right. Come to a comfortable seated position. If you can't sit on the floor with a cross-legged position, then sit on a block or two blocks just so that you can have your knees rested and you can keep your spine long and straight. Rest your hands on your knees. Sit up tall and close your eyes. Take a moment to really unwind yourself, to let go of all the thoughts in your mind, in your brain. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms, and then let your wrists to sink onto your knees and let the knees to drop down toward the floor. Soften your belly, soften your hips. Take a deep inhalation, expanding the chest, expanding the belly. And then exhale slowly. Inhale deeply. And exhale slow. As you exhale, just let go of all the negativity out away from your system. Inhale deeply. Expanding the chest. And exhale slow. Fold your palms together in front of your heart center. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, bow your head down to your heart. Then release your hands on the knees. Lift your chin up and open your eyes. All right. Okay, we're going to start with some neck, uh, um, neck stretches first. So. Stay where you are, now drop your head to your right. Then use your right hand to place the uh, right hand on top of the left ear. Then to el elongate the left side of your neck. Pull the left shoulder down. And breathe. See whether you can pull the head down toward the right. Roll the left shoulder back. Feel the stretch on the left side of your neck. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switch sides. Place your left hand on top of the right ear. Then stretch, drop your head to the left and stretch the right side of your neck. Roll the right shoulder down. Keep your eyes gently, gently closed and feel the stretch. Then inhale, come back to center. Interlace your hands, free your thumbs. Then place your thumbs under your chin and then lift the chin up, bring your elbows in. Elbows push forward away from your chest, keeping the front side of your neck elongated and stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Then place the back, place the palms at the back of the skull. Then bring the elbows in toward each other. 
exhale. Use the palms to press the head down. Keep the spine long, sit up tall, bringing the chin in toward your chest. Feel the stretch at back at the back of your neck. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the hands. Now from there, I'm going to turn to the side. Drop your head to the left. Then bring your head to the front. And then exhale, drop the head to the right. Bring the head to the back. I'll repeat that. Inhale, left. Forward, exhale, right. And back. 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 Now change. Inhale, right. Forward, exhale, left. And back. Inhale, right. Forward. Exhale left and back. Sit up tall. Inhale right. Forward. Exhale left and back. Inhale right. Forward. Exhale left and back. Keep the shoulders drawn down. Inhale right. Last round. Forward. Exhale left and back. Good. Back to center. All right. Now from there you to come down to your toes. So come into Vajrasana, tuck the toes under. So I'm going to stretch the toe joints. Some of you, you may have knees issues where you are not able to sit on the heels directly. If that's you, sit on the blocks. So if you don't have blocks, again, just find two books or some books um, or even a bolster or pillow to elevate, um, to elevate the hips. Now from there, tuck the toes under, and then reach your arms up. Exhale, bring the right arm under, then bend the top elbow, catch the opposite, uh, just flex the hands at the back. If you can't find the hands, it's okay. If you have strap, use the strap to pull the hands toward each other. If you don't have strap, just use a towel. Stay here. Close your eyes and draw a stretch. Roll the right shoulder back, pull the left elbow up to the sky. Don't push the uh, ribs forward, instead, pull the ribs in. Roll the right shoulder back and down. One more breath. Exhale, release. Now change hands. Bring the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, bring the left arm under. Walk the left hand up toward the upper back. Bring the right arm up and then catch the back hand. Stay here. Roll the left shoulder back. Bring the right elbow up toward the sky. Don't flare the ribs up, instead, keep the ribs down. Stay here for about five more deep breaths. Some of you probably you again you can't um, sit on the heels. Same thing, same options. You use blocks and sit on the blocks. Okay. Now from there, bring the arms up, inhale, and then bring the right arm under the left arm. So cross the elbows, cross the wrist, bring the palms together. If this is not possible for you, just wrap 
the opposite elbows. Sorry, just catch the opposite shoulders. Stretch here. Push your shoulders down, elbows down, and then bring your forearms forward. Feel the stretch along the deltoid. Pull the ribs down. Keep your eyes closed gently. Cross at the wrist, palms together. Stretch. This is um, called the eagle arm stretch, Garudasana stretch. Okay, slowly release the hands down. Okay, now from there, come to all fours. Cap the knees under the hips. Your hands are under your shoulders. So tuck the toes under. Have the knees widen about hip width distance apart and your hands about shoulder width apart. We're gonna come into killing cut. Now from there, lift the sides body long. Melt the heart down toward the floor. Inhale, lift the chest up. Push your hands to the floor. Look up to the sky. Exhale, coil the tailbone under. Bring your chin in toward your chest. Round your back. Inhale, arch spine upward. Concave your spine. Pull the shoulder blades together. Exhale, pull the shoulder blades away from each other. Convex your upper back, round your back. Push your hands and knees down toward the ground. Inhale, arch upper look up. Exhale, round your back. Two more like that. Inhale, arch upper look up. Exhale, round your back. One more. Inhale, arch upper look up. Exhale, round your back. Good. Now from there, you're going to tuck, uh, point the toes away, bring the knees together. Then come into Adho Mukha Vajrasana. Bring your forehead down toward the ground, stretch your arms forward. Now inhale, look forward, bend the elbows to the side. See whether you can try to glide your body forward, lower the belly down to the floor, roll the shoulders back. Now point the toes away, open the arms out to the side. Your fingers are outside the mat. Fingers are outside the mat. Now you're going to bring the elbows out to the front, make the sides body long. We're going to come into super cobra pose. It's like an awkward cobra position, but it's very good to warm up the upper back. Point the toes away, inhale, lift the chest. Roll the shoulders back, lift the chest up to the sky, squeeze the shoulder blades at the back, look up to the sky. And then exhale, bring the forehead down to the floor. Two more times like that. Fingertips strong, press the finger pads down to the floor, inhale, come up. Exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now 
Now this time walk the hands down one inch or even one hand if it was easy for you. Sides body long, inhale, rise up. And then exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale, come up. Now exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, point the left shoulder forward, turn your torso to the right and look at the feet at the back. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the left side. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right, turn right, point your left shoulder forward, inhale, center. Exhale, point the right shoulder forward, turn left. Inhale, come back to center, lift up the chest. Exhale, lower the forehead down to the floor. Place the palms down, tuck the toes under, lift the chest up, lift the hips up, and then push back into Arunga Vajrasana. Then from there, open the elbows out to the side and then see what you can glide forward into Cobra. Inhale, come up. Exhale, push your hips high and then back into Adamukha Vajrasana. Inhale, glide forward into Cobra. Exhale, push back into Adamukha Vajrasana. One more like that. Inhale, forward. Exhale, push back, Aramuka, Vajrasana. Inhale, come back to all fours, come up to all fours. I'm going to come into a pose called Anahatasana. Uh, Anahatasana, I'm going to show you the variation first because some of you probably can't have the chest completely down to the floor. So it's called Mountain Heart Pose. So what you can do is that you can have a block on the floor or even like a pillow so that it's elevated walk the hands out to the side hands on the finger pads first lift the sides body long and then melt the heart and chin down to the block if you can go down without the block go ahead and remove the block away from the chest now i'm going to try to stay here for about two minutes so stay there for two minutes Now take a heart deeper into the ground. You can keep the armpits lifted. Or if you want a more relaxing stretch, then you place the palms down to the floor instead of having your finger pads down to the floor. Relax the shoulders. Stay here. Relax your body. Feeling that the heart, the heart chakra touching the floor. Slowly lift the hips up, then slowly push your hips back down into child's pose while the knees up to the side and then forehead down to the floor rest here and breathe okay now from that tuck the toes under come up into downward facing dog so walk the hands forward, you can come into a longer dog and then have your feet wide open about your mat distance apart. Place your hands in front, have your hands about shoulders width apart, index fingers pointing forward. Then 
Push your hands straight down. Rotate the upper arms externally. Lift the armpits, lift the elbows, soften the ribs in toward your belly button. And then draw the belly button in toward the back of the spine. Then push your pubic bone back, push your thighs back, push your shins back. Breathe. Stretch. Then walk the feet in about hip width distance apart. Inhale, bend the right knee a little, press the left heel down to the floor. Now, as you press the left heel down to the floor, you don't want to collapse the right hip too much to the floor. Push your right hip back up to the sky. Inhale, bend the left knee, exhale, straighten the right leg. Inhale, bend the right knee, exhale, straighten the left leg, hips high. Inhale, bend the left knee, exhale, straighten the right leg. Inhale, straighten both legs. Now bring the right foot, the front of the right foot behind the left calf or the left at least. Then push your hips back and stretch. Then change sides. The front of the left foot behind the right at least. Then use the toes to press into the at least or the ankles, the right ankle. Then release down dog. Okay, now from there, inhale, stretch your right leg up. Rotate the right thigh up, bend the right knee and open the right hip, scorpion dog. Flex the right foot, spread the right toes. Feel the stretch at the front of the right hip. Inhale, square the hips, exhale, straighten the right leg. Inhale, left leg up. Rotate the left thigh up, bend the left knee and open the left hip, flex the left foot, spread the left toes, press the left armpit down to the foot and open the left hip flexor. Square the hips, inhale, exhale, release the left foot down. Swing your hips side to side. Bend the knees, inhale, look to the front and then walk the feet to the top of the mat. And then inhale, hands on the hips, roll the shoulders back and then slowly come up into a standing position. Okay, now from there, separate the feet wide about hip width distance apart. We're going to come into some movement. Inhale, stretch your arms up from the sides, reach your arms. Keep the legs firm, open the arms up to the sides, fall forward from there. If your hands can't reach the floor, use two blocks, place the blocks in front of the feet. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. And then exhale, fold down. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands in Anjali Mudra, release the hands down, repeat that. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, full forward. Inhale, halfway look forward. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands in Anjali Mudra, release the hands. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fall forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall down. Inhale, reach arms up to the sky, palms together. Exhale, hands in Anjali Mudra. Two more rounds like that. Inhale, reach arms up to the sky. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands in Anjali Mudra. Release the hands. Last round. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands in Anjali Mudra. Alright, inhale, arms up. Use your right hand to catch the left wrist. 
exhale, sway your body to the right side. So keep the legs firm, open the left side of the torso and stretch. Extend the right side of your torso as well by pulling the right shoulder over toward the right side. Inhale, come back to center, change your grip of the hands, exhale, sway over to the left side. Extend the left side of your torso more. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, switch sides again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sway to the right side. Make sure that the hips are aligned, left hip push back a little bit. Now this time, inhale, press, turn your breastbone down to the floor. Inhale, back to center, turn the breastbone up to the sky, stretch. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, change your grip of the hands. Inhale, stretch, lengthen. Exhale, sway over to the left side. Inhale, point the right, uh, the breastbone down to the floor. Keep the hips sway to the right side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, point the breastbone up to the sky. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release the hands. You should feel the blood running around the arms there. Okay, now from there, interlace your fingers. So, bend the elbows and then have the wrist, oh sorry, the fingers facing toward the hip bones first. Keep the feet slightly separated. Inhale, lift the chest up. Roll the shoulders back. Mm -hmm. Exhale, straighten the arms back, keeping the wrists of the hands together. Then look forward and then exhale, fall forward from them. Soften the ribs, soften the belly. Keep the shoulders rotated back. Inhale, come. Exhale, release the hands. Okay, change your grips, change your claps of the hands, so the non-dominant claps now. Bring the elbows out to the side, turn the fingers in, roll the shoulders back, inhale. Lift the chest up, exhale, straighten the arms back. Pull the arm bones back. Look forward, exhale, fold forward from the Lean toward your toes. So clasp hands, Uttanasana. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, look up, come back up. Exhale, release the hands. Shake the hands up. Okay, now from there, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, open the arms up to the sides and fall forward from there. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees and step the left foot back. Okay, place the left knee down to the floor. So we're gonna come into um, Anjaneya Sana. So hands on hips first. Press the left knee down to the floor and then draw the knee and the right foot toward each other. Tuck the cowboy under, inhale, open arms up to the side, reach arms up. Anjaneya Sana, reach arms up. And then exhale. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, use your right hand to catch your left wrist. Exhale, sway your body over toward the right side. Hop the right knee in toward the midline of your torso. Inhale, lengthen toward the right side. Exhale, sink the hips deeper toward the ground. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the hands. Now you may use blocks, place the blocks on either side of the right foot or fingertips on the right side or on either side of the right foot. Inhale, shift your body forward. Exhale, straighten the right leg, come into a half split position. Inhale, shift your body forward, bend the right knee. Exhale, straighten the right leg. 
Inhale, shift forward, look forward. Exhale, straighten the right leg, half Hanumanasana. So we're gonna stay here for a bit. Walk the hands forward, or use the blocks, walk the blocks away from the right foot. Then pull the right hip toward the back, left hip toward the back as well. Feel the stretch at the back of the hamstring. Stay here. Flex the right foot. Rotate the right thigh in gently and feel the engagement along the inseam of the right leg from the inner groin toward the right in foot. And breathe. Soften the shoulder step. Walk the hands forward. You can even rest your forehead on the right shin. Slowly inhale, come back. Shift your body forward. Place the left hand on the foot. And then use your right hand to push your right thigh away. Then lift the chest up toward the crown of the head. Exhale, turn the chest to the right side, pushing the right thigh away, right knee away with your right hand. And breathe. Stay here for a few breaths. Want to come down deeper, bring your forearm down to the foot. If this one, if this is enough for you, you stay here or bend the back leg, bring the right hand behind you, catch the outside of the right foot. Then push the left thigh, left foot away against the index finger, uh, the index knuckle of your right hand. Roll the shoulders back. Look up to the sky or relax the head by looking down to the floor. Then gently release the hands. Step the right foot back into downward facing dog. Then from that bend the knees, walk the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest up, look forward. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, hands in front of the chest. Inhale, arms. Exhale, open the arms up to the side and fold forward from the ground. Inhale, look forward. And then step the right foot back this time. Place the right knee down to the floor. Then come back up. Now use the right. Now push your right knee down to the floor. Pull the left foot against the right, uh, toward the right knee and right knee toward the left foot. Now inhale, reach your arms up. Anjali Asana. Exhale, here you can bring our palms together. One more breath, inhale, stretch your sides, body long, squeeze the right back cheek. Exhale, sink the hips down more. Inhale, use your left hand to stretch your right, uh, to catch your right wrist. Exhale, sway your body over toward the left side. Squeeze the right back cheek. Inhale, stretch more. Exhale, sway more to the left side. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release the hands down. Okay, now from there, you're going to place the hands on either side of the left foot. Look forward, inhale. Exhale, straighten the left leg, half split. So again, you can use blocks or finger pads down to the floor. Lift the armpits long. Inhale, shift your hips forward, look forward. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Inhale, shift forward, look forward. Exhale, straighten the left leg. Then from there, stay here. Push your left hip back. Push your right hip back. Walk the hands slightly forward. Then rest your forehead down toward the left shin or inside the left shin. Stretch the inseam of the left leg toward the inner left foot. Now as you rotate the left thigh out, Basically, when you uh, 
for the straight leg side, you want to feel the stretch of the back of the calves and the back of the hamstrings. You want to gently rotate the left thigh out, but then you want to neutralize that by also engaging the inseam of the left leg. Breathe. A few more grams. Now feel the stretch, enjoy the stretch. Don't rush. Have patience in yourself. Okay, inhale, shift your body forward. Then this time, place your right hand down to the floor. Lift the chest up, inhale. Exhale, turn to your left, and then push your left thigh away. As you push your left thigh away, sink the hips, the right hip forward. Roll the chest up. And roll the shoulders back, and then lift the chest up. Same option. If you want, you can bring your forearm down to the floor. Or stay here. But keep the spine really long and extended. Bend the back leg. Use your left hand to catch the back foot, the back ankle from the outside as you catch. You don't catch from the inside because this way the shoulder is closed. You want to open the pec muscle, the pectoralis muscle. So roll the left shoulder back by kicking the right leg back. Slowly release. Step back into downward facing dog. Swing your hips side to side. Now from there, step the right foot forward. Then turn the right foot in. And then hands on the hips. Lift the chest up. Step up from there. Now we're going to come into Prasarita Padutanasana. So it will help to open the thigh. Sometimes standing up with the wide leg forward fold is more accessible than sitting down. So we're just going to warm up the inner thighs first. Okay, have your feet parallel. Maybe the toes turn in more than the heels. Keep the legs firm. Roll the shoulders back. Keep the legs, but use your hands to push your hips down and then lifting the sternum up to the sky. Inhale, lift the chin. Now exhale, come down halfway first. Now don't shift the hips forward or backward. Keep the hips stacked, aligned um, on top of the ankles. Inhale, lengthen the spine, push your hips back with your hands. Exhale, fold down. Place the hands on, uh, on the floor in between the feet. Then fold down from there. If the top of the hip can't come down to the floor, it's fine. Just stay here. You can even use blocks if your hands cannot reach the floor. Okay? Blocks in between the feet and fold down. When you bend the elbows, pull the elbows in and then fold in more. Keep the hips pushing up and forward toward your head direction. Pull bring the elbows in as much as possible. Now inhale, don't move your hands. Keep the palms down to the floor. Straighten the arms, lift the chest up. And then exhale here. Inhale, hands on the hips, roll the shoulders back, and then stand back up. Okay, now from there, turn the toes out, heels in. Bend the knees out to the side. Then, lean forward. Use your forearm, place your upper arms, sorry, your forearms against the inside of the thighs. Then palms are facing backward and then push the thighs away from each other with your forearms. Then lean your body forward. Feel the stretch inside the thighs. Breathe. Lean your chest, bring your chest forward, hips back. Swing your hips side to side if you can. Then slowly 
release the hands, walk the hands to the right side, turn the right foot forward and then step the right foot back into downward facing dog. Then we're going to come into pigeon pose. Step the right foot forward. Place the right knee to be aligned with the to be aligned uh, to be pointing toward the top right corner of your mat. So we're going to go for the easy, uh, easy pigeon first. Bring the right heel toward the inner groin. Then roll the left thigh back, pointing the left toes back. Then don't sit on the right hip if your hips are lopsided. Instead, try to push the left hip forward. Square the hips by pulling the right hip back. If you need, sit on a block or elevate, uh, elevate your right hip with a pillow or a blanket. Stay here. Then from that, bend the back leg. Turn your torso to the left. Thumbs up with your left hand. Bring the left hand back. Now catch your left ankle from the inside with your left hand. Then you're gonna bring the left heel in toward the torso direction. Push your left shoulder back. Pull the left arm back so that you can bring the left elbow out to the uh, bring the left elbow back. Then you can turn the fingers, the left fingers to be pointing aligned toward the left toes. Then push the left heel to the front outside the left hip, go for a quad stretch. And then exhale, release. Change legs, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward. Our same thing. Left knee pointing toward the top left corner of your mat, point the right toes away. Stay here for a few breaths. Then bend the right leg. Catch your right and thumbs up with your right hand. Bring the right arm back. Catch your right ankle from the inside. Bring the right heel in. Right elbow pointing out to the side. Push the right shoulder back. And then turn the right finger so that they're aligned with the right toes. Pushing the right heel down outside the right heel. Go for a quad stretch, pushing the right hip forward, left hip back. Bringing the right shoulder back. Exhale, release the right foot. Come back into down facing dog again. Then we're going to come into pigeon pose. Again, but this time your pigeon, you're going to try to have the right shin parallel to the front of the mat or bring the right shin as far forward as possible. Then roll the left thigh in, pushing the left hip forward, right hip back. Now, this one is harder, yeah. Now, from there, bring the forearms down in front of the right shin. If you can, bring the palms together. If you can't, sit on the if you don't feel comfortable just place your hands on the floor it's fine stay here i work on pushing the right hip back to the back of the room rolling the left hip forward toward the ground you can point the left toes away or you can tuck the toes under If you want, you can lower the body all the way down and rest your forehead on the floor. Okay, slowly come back up. Down and face it up. Stretch your legs up. Then step the left foot forward. Go for pigeon on the side. Walk the left shin forward as much as you can. Roll the right thigh in, pushing the right hip forward, left hip back. Don't turn the right uh, ankle out to the side, bring the right ankle in toward the midline of the torso, elbows down to the floor. So when you do a pigeon, you want to have the hips as square as possible. Um, 
but sometimes it's really really hard you know especially if you have tighter hips that's why uh, it's better to have the left hip elevated if you need to same variation you can come down to your floor Use your hands to pull the left butt of flesh away. Keep the right leg extended toward the front of the mat. Keep the hips square. Inhale. If you can't, again, if you uh, can't sit properly on both hips, then you could go to sit on a block or an elevated platform. Inhale, arms up. And then exhale, fall forward, stretch. So if you can't reach your right foot, use the uh, towel. Okay, wrap it around. Sorry, I don't have a towel here, sorry. Uh, just wrap, just pull a strap or a towel around the right foot, pull it. Now don't hinge from the spine, hinge from the hips or lean forward. If you're holding a towel, you make sure that your chest is lit. If you want to go further, interlace the fingers behind the right foot or use your left hand to catch your right wrist. Then push the left shoulder blade, uh, left shoulder down, deeper into the Press your forehead down toward the right shin under the knee. Stay here. Enjoy the stretch. Observe what is going on in your body. Do you feel more at the back of the hamstring or more at the back of the calves? And do you feel more at the back of the knee? Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release the hands down. Change legs. Stretch your left leg forward. Bend the right knee. Bring the right heel toward the inside of the foot. Inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, fold forward. Same variation. Bringing the right shoulder down toward the floor more. Roll the belly over toward the left side. Keep turning the right ribs down and over toward the left side. Lower the left ribs down toward the ground. Extend the left heel forward. Relax the shoulders. Right hand catch your left wrist if you can't go that far. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release the hands down. Okay, now from there, open the legs out to the sides. So I'm going to face you, I'm going to do mirror side for this pose. Um, bend the left leg. So left leg in half butterfly. Okay, right leg is straight. Okay, use your right hand to catch your right hand bringing the right elbow inside the right knee okay if you can't just hook a towel around the arch of the left foot pull the towel with your left hand bring the left elbow, uh, the right elbow in into the foot with your right hand and then bring the elbow down to the floor then turn your chest to the left side bring the top arm the left arm up to the sky then over and touch try to find the right foot If you can walk the left 
turn down more and find the outer edge of the right heel. Walk the right elbow in more. Claw the right hand forward, opening up the right side, the torso. Stretch. Inhale, come back up. Then exhale, change side. Bend the right leg, straighten the left leg out to the side. Use your left hand to catch your right, uh, the left foot, the left ankle. Bring the left elbow down to the floor, stretch your right hand up to the sky and over. If you can't reach the foot, it's okay. But work on opening up the right side of your torso, that's more important. Pushing the right hip down to the floor. Then use the leverage of the left elbow. Turn your right left ribs forward. Claw the left hand forward if you can. Walk the right hand down toward the outer heel, pushing the right hip down to the floor. Inhale, come back up. Then exhale, release the hands down. Okay, open both legs out to the side. Um, for, so for this Upavishta Konasana, some of you probably you don't have that opening inside the thighs, you can sit on a block or sit on an elevated platform. Alright, now inhale, stretch your arms up to the sky. Exhale, turn your torso. Turn your torso to your right side. Then reach the arms over toward the right foot. Interlace the fingers in front of the right foot or hook a towel. Then roll the belly over toward the right side, pushing the left hip down to the floor. Then fold the hip down toward the right thigh. Or if you want, you can catch the outer right foot with your left hand, pulling the elbows out to the side, the right hand outside the right shin. Pull the belly over toward the right, then fold down. Bring the right ear, uh, bring the left ear toward the right shin. Sometimes staying in static stretches may not be interesting, but inhale, come back up first, and then exhale, turn toward the other side. But it is actually a very therapeutic way to heal your body, find the silence, find the peace in yourself, and then use this opportunity to understand your body more. Let your mind to relax. it's a good choice because you can really use the time to really listen to your body and get uh, more time to work into the stretches good get into the poses deeper release the hands now now we're going to come into a forward fold position inhale stretch your arms up. and exhale reach your hands forward now if you are home i may not be able to see you so i can imagine you may be doing this if you're doing this if this is you don't lean forward instead sit on a block place your hands back work on lifting the chest up work on pushing the front hips forward otherwise now stay up there or if you can go all the way down you go all the way down catching the sides of the inner feet bringing the shoulders down to the floor now this is the final version or if you are almost uh, if you are still working toward that direction put the bring the uh, finger pads down to the floor keep the inner thighs extended and active and then slowly you can come down to your elbows <laughs> bring your um, uh, 
chin, rest your chin on the palms. Rest. Breathe. Wiggle the hips side to side from time to time. It helps. Slide the elbows forward if you can. Slowly inhale, walk the hands back. Use the hands to catch the inner knees and then pull the legs together, hugging the knees in. Okay, now we're going to come into butterfly pose, which is Buddha Kodanasana. So you can um, sit on the block again because some of you may, uh, Buddha Kodanasana may not be easy for you, especially. Um, uh, in the current modern world, the lifestyle has made us, um, uh, our hips has made our hips really, really tight. So sit on a block or walk the heels slightly forward away from the hips so that you have a more relaxed butterfly position. If you can do butterfly pretty easily, then you bring the heels, catch, uh, bring the outer edges of the feet together and then Roll the inner edge of the uh, feet out to the side. Bring the hands to the back, lift the hips up, shift the hips forward, open the knees out to the side. Now stay here. Then from there, catch the feet with your hands. If you're sitting on the blocks and like what you say about like what you do, just like if your spine is hunching forward, then you're gonna sit upright. Otherwise, catch the outer angles, interlace your fingers under the feet, then push your elbows down toward the inner thighs, then fall forward. Straighten the left leg, then bring the right shin toward your face. So you're going to wedge the left elbow around the arch of the right foot, then bring the right arm around your shin, uh, your left, uh, your right knee. Interlace the fingers in front of the shin. Then we go the hips back and forth, back and forth. We go the shins back and forth, back and forth. Bring the foot slightly higher. Shin toward the chest. If you can go further, then you wedge the um, elbows in front of the shin. Lift the chest up. Flex the right foot. Pull the knee or the shin toward the chest. If you feel like a lot, there's a lot of pressure on the knee, don't do this, okay? Back up. You want to keep the external rotation of the right Work on the thighs and exhale with this. Change sides. Wedge the right elbow around. Uh, wedge the right elbow around the uh, left and uh, the arch of the left foot. Then we go the hips back and forth, back and forth, shins back and forth, back and forth, and then. Bring the shin forward, lift the chest up. Bring the shin slightly closer toward your chest, foot higher. Rotate the left thigh up, same variation if you want. You can 
brush the elbows in front of the shin. Flex. Slowly release, shake the legs up. Now I'm going to come into Agni Stambhasana, which is fire lock pose. Okay, so bring the uh, right ankle on top of the left knee. Okay, literally ankle on top of the knee, yeah? not behind the knee, not forward around the knee. And then the bottom ankle under the top knee. So the shins are parallel, stack on top of each other. The shins are aligned with the front of the mat. Flex both feet. If the right knee is high up like this, it's okay. Just take the hands back, hands on the fingertips, roll the shoulders back. Keep working on rolling the right thigh out. Don't push from the knee, okay? If you can, bring the knee down, walk the hands forward. Or if you want to go further, forearms down to the floor. But shift the hips back from time to time. If you want to go further, stack uh, the hands with fists. Put a uh, then rest of body on the top fist or flatten your palms down. Alright, come back up. Then change legs. Right foot, right foot, uh, right shin down, left shin up now, flexing the feet. Do the same variations as you did. Either sit up tall or walk the hands forward. Now everybody is different. It depends on your lifestyle, depends on your body structure. And um, sometimes at least tapasana is not easy. Yeah, double pigeon is really really hard. Some people may take years to get there. Some people may be able to do this the first time. So just keep working towards it. And slowly inhale, come back up. Then shift the legs up. Last one, Paschimottanasana, uh, which is seated for, for to neutralize everything. Now keep the feet extended. You can keep the knees bent, it's okay if you have lower back issue. Then inhale with your arms up. Then exhale, catch the sides of the feet. Then fold forward from it. If you're bending the knees every time you inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward, and then every time you exhale, try to have the belly touch to the thighs so that extend the heels forward. If not, just keep the knees bent. Use your right hand, sorry, use your left hand to catch the right wrist because uh, especially if you are doing this in the evening um, when you want to cool down your nervous system, calm down your nervous system, use your left side to dominate the right side of your body. Come back up. Exhale, release the hands down. Then lie down on the back. Get ready for Shavasana. Flop the feet out to the sides, palms are facing up. Relax the back down to the floor. Just rest here. For a while. Close your eyes. Let go of all the tension in your body. No more thoughts in your mind. And just relax.
wish to stay in Shavasana relaxation for a little while more, go for it. Or you deserve to rest more. Otherwise, you can slowly move your toes with your toes and fingers, move your head side to side, stretch your arms up above your head. your torso to your right side, then push your left palm down to the floor, slowly sit up from there. Find yourself a comfortable seat, rest your hands, Press up, place your hands together in front of your heart center, put a smile on your face, inhale, lift the chest up, Exhale, bow your head down to your heart. Thank yourself for giving yourself a chance, some time to rest, to rejuvenate yourself. And thank your body for doing such an amazing job. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.